resources for the fire, we realized there was probably a need to put some information out there on trailer loading, which is a difficult time as a lot of people have with loading horses. Um, so here, I'm just going to go over a few small things, uh, preparation and teaching your horse to load that I'd like to have my horses know. Uh, one is really simple. I want to be able to reach down here by this halter knot and get a horse to back up so I can back them out or away from the trailer. Uh, I want to make sure that the horse can lead up on a field that when I draw the slack out of this rein, they come forward. They don't make me pull them. They, they follow that field. I also want, over here, I want to make sure that I can send their front end kind of away from me and around be able to lead them past me like that. And I want to be able to walk towards their hind and move their hind away from me like that. It doesn't have to be super refined. I just want to have uh, some very basic tools there to be able to move my horse around so that I have some tools to work on with the trailer. So we'll head over to the trailer and work on getting her in. standard slant load trailer here. We've got some shavings down. Uh, you can do this with or without. Uh, the main goal I'm going to try to accomplish is A, get her in the trailer. But I'd like to get to where she's kind of loading herself and it doesn't uh, it doesn't take a whole lot from me. Uh, I want to kind of be able to direct her mind and her feet towards the trailer but have her actually make the decision to get in. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we'll just check out how she does, and I'm just going to lead her by me here, kind of direct her towards the trailer, and see what she does. So she kind of drops her head, looks at it, uh, wasn't too too afraid of it or anything, but, but didn't just hop in there. So I'm going to direct her mind back to the trailer, drive her up there, let her check it out. Then I might go ahead and back her away from there. Make it my decision for her to leave before she does. Then do it again. I'll direct her here, drive her up. And let her just jump in the trailer. Then we'll go ahead and back her out before she made the decision to leave. Take her back. We'll start from here. I'm just going to try to start her feet moving, direct her mind towards that trailer. Do what she chooses to do. Give her a little encouragement. If she wants to back out. I'm going to encourage her back up there. spot where she had her front feet in, it wouldn't have hurt for me to back her out before she left, if I could have. Uh, but that's a place where a lot of times they'll get halfway in and that's where the person puts pressure on the, on the horse. So basically you have the horse thinking about going in, making that decision, and then you pour the pressure on most of the time they come back out. That's the place where I'm going to back them out and start again. I don't want, I want the trailer to be the release of pressure. I want the trailer to the, be the place the horse is looking to go. Um, 
So when the horse is thinking about going in there, halfway in, going in there, I need to make sure it's peaceful and quiet for the horse. Out here where maybe I don't want her, that's where I'd maybe make her work a little bit if she was having more trouble. We'll get ahead and point her back towards that, the trailer. Drive her here a little bit. You can see she thinks about coming between me and the trailer. And I've got to block that. And I'll block that with my hand or my body. By no way am I going to let the horse go by me over here and learn that they can shoot by there. Alright, we'll direct her back towards the trailer. Her mind's in there. I might just wave this flag a little bit, see what she does. She took a step forward, and I released. Might wave this flag a little bit more. If she goes back, I might do a little more with the flag. Release. Wave this flag a little bit. Release. Wave the flag a little bit. A little bit more. Release. Good. This is where I might come up here, pet her, and back her out, back her out before she backs herself out. Gonna lead her off. We'll try again. So I'm gonna start her out here. I'll come in with the flag, create a little pressure. Driver mines in the trailer. Ask her to stand up there. Good. And I might back her on out. to go in by herself that time. Back her back out. My back with a little arc out here. Just doing little things to make it maybe a little less pleasant out here and a little more pleasant in the trailer. Point her towards the trailer. I create a little pressure to see what she does. Good. And I'll back her out by shaking the rope in there. Maybe back her up a few steps. I back her in an arc again. Here, this horse's temperament, I could really easily take this flag and ask her to step the rest of the way in and get her loaded, but I'm not going to. If I were in an emergency situation, get one loaded, I'd just load her. So right here, we're trying to get her better, get her good about loading herself. in there. Lead her up here to the front. Kind of pet on her in here. And back her out. Spot 
right there she kind of starts. This horse likes to lean into me a little bit too much. <clears throat> when I ask her to go, it's pretty subtle, but it actually affects and influences the trailer load. She leans into me right there. I'm going to send her away. Good. I'm going to go ahead and lead her back up to the trailer. Almost loaded herself. Back her up. Again. So just for the sake of showing, this horse right here is what we have on the ground. If we had to get her loaded, that's all it would take. Just say, come on up in here, and she's going to come up in. does it themselves where she jumps all the way in on her own. Lead her back up. See her step towards you with that left front. We'll wave that flag a little bit. Let her step in. Right here she's not there, not yielding over. Little things like that you want to be aware of. She loaded herself. She almost did right off the bat, but she stopped to smell her own poop. <laughs>
better back now That's what we're looking for. Go about it. If you got any questions, please let us know. Thanks so much. Bye.